I actually grew up like obsessed with IMDb. IMDb was like my first love. And so I grew up obsessed with film and filmmaking, but I never considered it would be a possibility for, for me to be an actor. This is actually kind of sad. I memorized child actors' birthdays. I think it was actually just because I really wanted to be like them. I really wanted to, to be an actor, and, I, and the only people I could relate to in the industry, I guess, were, were other kids. Birthdays, oh my god, it's not cute at all. It's like really serial killer. I've had weird talents like that my whole life. Like I can say things, if you give me a word, I can say it backwards. Uh, I can juggle five balls. I memorize all my friends' birthdays as well. So it, it, it wasn't the only weird talent I had or, or just weird obsession, I guess. I'm gonna give you a few of my celebrity crushes. One is Faye Dunaway in uh, Bonnie and Clyde. Both Catherine Ross and Anne Bancroft in The Graduate. Belle Powley, I have a huge crush on. And also the English accent is just amazing. I read once that like 90%, I, th th I could be pulling this percentage out of nowhere, but some percentage of why you fall in love with somebody or what draws you to someone is their voice. Something about her voice, I guess, caught me. I watched her uh, Gotham Awards like acceptance speech, just found her to be tremendously charming and sweet. She was in a play that I really love, Arcadia, on Broadway, yeah. which I can't even imagine how she did that at, at such a young age. And she's like two years older than me. Ratatouille is one of my all-time favorite movies and does just about everything to me. I would actually say one of my cinematic crushes is the yes. cook that Linguini falls in love with. Yes. Is like, I kind of have a crush on her. I kind of think that I am kind of like Linguini. If they did a live action version of Ratatouille, I think I'd, I'd make a good Linguini. My biggest pet peeve is when somebody does an Indian accent, when somebody imitates somebody with an Indian accent. It, it seems like so many people do it and it, it just seems to be like not something people should do. I was thinking about this one and I don't know if I can say if my favorite love scene. I can tell you though that I grew up watching The O.C. I very much enjoyed the making out scenes when I was like in like third grade, except my mom had a curtain that she would uh, pull over the TV she, uh, so that we couldn't see it. The OC meant a lot to me, and, and there were some lovely sex scene, love scenes, I guess, in that. My first kiss was ninth grade, and it was on this girl uh, in my grade's uh, roof. And there was a bunch of kids were hanging out at the hot tub, this big like hot tub party in like, the winter. Me and this other girl, I don't need to go into great detail, but we were so nervous. We had like spoken to each other's friends and like there was like an unspoken like th thing that like this was going to happen. Literally like just walked around the corner and kissed. And I, it was a weird sensation. I just remember the first time it was very scary. I was very nervous. Definitely happy afterwards, but I don't, I don't know if I like mustered up the courage to like talk to her again for another week just because it was so like, it's just, it, it was vulnerable, like, yeah.